What's going on, Slay Bays? It's Ashley, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be like my rendition of a spring makeup tutorial. One thing that I really wanted when I sat down to film this is for the look to be very light, fresh, and airy for spring, while still incorporating some kind of pop of color. So I'm really excited. I have a bunch of products laid out in front of me from affordable to high-end. Majority of the products are affordable though, so don't fret. I just kind of sprinkled some high-end products here and there. So if you guys are ready for it, don't forget to like the video, you guys. My like to view ratio is completely off, so it would mean the absolute world to me if you pause the video, press the like button, and also while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so that we are notified anytime I upload, which is every Tuesday and Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, two times a week, say it with me, every single week. And without further ado, you guys, let's go ahead and hop right into the look. Mm -hmm. So now that we have that good zoom going, I'm gonna start off by using the Morphe Bronze Goals 35G eyeshadow palette. I've been really loving this palette. If you guys wanna see my first ever look using this, then make sure you guys check out the link in the cards or check out the link in the description box down below. But pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some of the warm tone browns within the palette, nothing too, too crazy. So the first shade I'm gonna pick up is a very, very light shade. This one is called Sandy on an M441, and I'm gonna rock this in my crease as my transitional color. Now I do want you guys to keep in mind that I've already primed my eyelids with a dry base primer, which is the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I will have that link down below in the description in case any of you guys are interested in picking it up. My biggest recommendation when working with Morphe eyeshadows is to use a primer that is a little bit more dry base as opposed to a concealer, which is a little bit more tackier and stickier, just because they won't skip or get patchy or anything like that. Okay guys, so I definitely feel like this is looking really Really, really nice in the crease. It's very fresh. It's very, very soft. I love this shade so much from within the 35G palette. I'm now going to pick up the shade called Desert It, which is the second matte shade in the top row. And I'm going to take that on an M507 and just simply pat it right here in the very outer V. Now, this isn't that much darker than Sandy. It's just slightly darker. And I'm just taking this in the outer V and flicking it inwards because girl we need like a little bit more color right here in this area then whatever's left on the brush i'm just going to rock it back and forth in the socket so the crease area rock it in the socket rock it in the socket uh. then with an m441 i'm just going to kind of buff and diffuse out the edges per usual the next shade i'm going to pick up on an m507 is called naked and I'm just going to lightly diffuse this right here closest to the base of my lash line. And I'm not going to bring it up too, too far just because this is a little bit deeper. And I don't want to completely smoke out this look. I just want to add a little bit of definition right here in the outer V. So for this look, I definitely want to carve out just a little bit of lid space. So I will be using my Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer to do that with a flat brush, kind of like a flat concealer brush. And I'm just going to kind of stamp it right here to carve out just a little bit of space. And I'm not cutting my crease too high just because I do want this to remain a very fresh light spring makeup tutorial. I'm now gonna go in with the Revlon Putty Powder Eye Beam in the shade Fairy Vibes. And the brush I'm using is a Sigma Cream Color E58. I find that this brush is the perfect brush for this particular consistency of product. Like it's kind of a cream formula, but not really. It's kind of like cream to powder, if you will. So I'm just going to take this all over the lid area. And as you can see, it is so freaking beautiful. It's more like a very shimmery peach. Like it's so stunning. And then once I have that product placed, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that matte eyeshadow and buff it inward just so that way things don't get weird. If you know what I mean, Jelly Bean. 
whatever the left on my brush i'm just gonna kind of pat it right into that brown just kind of like fade it off a little bit just so that way it isn't so stark and harsh i'm now going to switch over to using the original jaclyn hill palette and i'm going to pick the shade right up here called in light you guys know i'm obsessed with the shade called in light and i'm going to use this as my brow bone highlight oh will you look at that bling that bling that bling. I'm gonna take a little mini break from the eyes and I'm gonna move on to my face because again my skin it's just not looking the best so I'm gonna use the CoverGirl True Blend Base Business Skin Primer which is a smoothing primer. I really love CoverGirl face primers in general. They are so good. If you guys haven't tried this one definitely go to your local Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, Walmart, Target, wherever they sell CoverGirl and try this primer out because it's really really awesome. Them. cute now i am going to take an extra step and i'm going to go in with a color corrector you guys know i love the pixie color correcting brightening peach concealer to cancel out any discoloration underneath my eyes and also in this area right here sometimes whenever i take pictures i notice that it's a little bit dark in this area and i don't have to do as much retouching and stuff like that when i do color correct like my smile lines and such or these aren't smile lines, these are like marionette lines. So I do like to just take a little bit of peach concealer right alongside my mouth. I'm also gonna take a little bit of that peach concealer right here underneath my eye because I've been struggling a little bit with sleep and such. So I need to cancel out some of this discoloration I got going on. By the way, the brush I'm using is just a Pro Fusion brush that I got in a palette. So it definitely doesn't have to be a special brush or anything like that. Just really focus on getting the color where you want it and then just lightly buffing and diffusing out the edges but don't diffuse it out to the point where you can't see it because you still want this to act as a color corrector and cancel out that discoloration great now that i look hella crazy i'm gonna go in with foundation i'm gonna use the wet and wild photo focus stick foundation in the shade soft beige you guys know how obsessed i am with this stick foundation it is so good if you guys have not tried it definitely try it out it is definitely one of my top favorite drugstore stick foundations then with a beauty sponge i'm just going to buff and blend it out by the way i'm using the sponge in the jeffree star x morphe collection and let me just say this thing is stiff as a rock like it is so stiff I do not I repeat I do not love the foundation sponge in this why did I spend my money on this Moving on to concealer, I'm gonna use the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Light. You guys know this is my jam, this is what I love. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this underneath the eyes directly over top of that peach concealer. And I'm gonna buff it out with one of the smaller sponges that came in the set. Now the smaller sponges aren't half as bad as the big sponge that came in the collection set, um, FYI. So I do really like the smaller sponge. I don't really like the bigger sponge, which kind of sucks. Now, if any of you guys picked up the sponge from Morphe, let me know in the comments down below because I'm very curious to know if I'm the only one having like inconsistencies with the overall feel of the sponge. Um, so again, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. For loose powder, I'm gonna use this one by number seven. This is the Translucent Perfect Light Loose Powder. Now, I will say I really do like this powder with the exception of the price point. It's $17.99. I feel like it's a little bit up there in price point, especially to be sold in like Walgreens or something like that. So um, I definitely recommend um, trying to get it on a good sale. They do have some pretty good sales at Walgreens. I know they sell it at Target too, but I definitely recommend getting it at Walgreens because sometimes they have buy one get one half off and then you can get something else which makes it a little bit more worth your while um i did switch sponges to the real techniques one just because i do like this one better for setting underneath the eyes i'm just going to take that powder and press just so that way i could really set this concealer down and in place now, whenever it comes to me using a stick foundation, I do like to take the loose powder and press it into my skin like all over, just so that way I could really get that foundation to be as matte and flat as possible. Otherwise, I feel like living in Florida with the humidity, my foundation will kind of slip and slide all over, and that's not the vibe I'm going for. 
things definitely got a little out of control with the powder so i went ahead and tossed my hair up um, i'm now going to go in with the bare minerals bare skin perfecting veil powder directly over top this is in the shade light to medium i did pick this up during the 21 days of beauty sale event which has already passed well the sale for this product is already passed but i will say i do really like this powder it's a very soft focus powder that really just sets the makeup down and in place without adding additional coverage which is something i always look for in a powder because sometimes I'll go ham with like my liquid foundation so there's really no need to go in with an additional layer of coverage in a powder so I like that this isn't that type of product this is really just going to set everything down and in place Following that, I am going to go in with bronzer. I will be using this one by Milani. This is the Silky Matte Bronzing Powder in the shade 03 Sun Tan. And I'm just going to bronze up the skin with a MAC 135. And can't forget to take a little bit of that bronzing powder right alongside my nose to give it a little bit of shade. Then I'm going to take a little bit of that number seven loose powder and put it directly underneath my bronzer and also on the sides of my nose and down the center to clean it up a little bit. So while I let that bake there, I'm definitely going to finish off my lower lash line. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of Sandy and Desert it on a flat definer brush. This one is by Sigma and I'm going to push it closest to my lower lash line to connect the shadow on my upper lid with the lower lash line. This is going to give it more of like a seamless effect and just bring the entire look together. You know what I mean? By the way, guys, I definitely can't sing. I just kind of pretend that I can. So don't take my singing seriously. Then with an M507, I'm just going to smoke and diffuse out my lower lash line. Then I'm just gonna go in and brush away all of this bake because I'm looking hella powdery. Now it's time to add a little bit of oomph to the look. So I'm gonna take this palette right here by ABH. This is the ABH Prism Palette. And I'm gonna pick up the shade called Sphere, which is that really beautiful kind of like neon yellow. And I'm gonna pop it right here in the very inner corner of my eye to just add a fun pop to the look. I don't know what it is, but I've been obsessed with adding a pop of color in the very inner corner and I feel like since this look is a little bit more on the peachy side it's really going to complement it very very nicely Woo! this next step is completely optional but I'm gonna go in with the LA girl shockwave neon eyeliner in the shade screamin and I'm gonna put this in my waterline What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with mascara. I'm going to use the Milani Highly Rated Mascara. You guys know I've been vibing with this ever since it came out. I really do love this mascara. So I'm going to coat my lashes and then I'm going to pop on some falsies. Then we'll be right back to finish off the rest of the face. <laughs> So I went ahead and popped on falsies. What I want to do now is my post notification shout out of the day. And I want to give a huge shout out to Karen Lopez. She says, definitely loving the hair. Thank you, girl. She says, also looking forward to a review on the Nuria Rescue Rebalancing Cleanser because I also have acne prone skin and would love to see your point of view on the product. Hashtag notification squad, hashtag slaybase. I will definitely keep you updated on the product. So far, I've been using it for the past few days and my skin does really like it. It's not reacting crazy to it or anything like that, but I do have to continue using it for a period of time before I can give you guys my final thoughts. With that, I do want to move on to blush. I will be using this blush palette right here by NYX. This is the NYX Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette. You guys know I really love the coral shades within this palette, like this very muted mauve and also this really poppy orange coral. So I am going to take both of those shades mixed together and just pop it onto my cheeks. And for highlighter, I'm going to use this by Wet n Wild. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Loose Highlighting Powder in the shade I'm So Lit. You guys, a little bit of this stuff does go a very long way, so please use a little bit because it is blinding. And to finish off the look, I'm going to go in with this Cream Matte Liquid Lipstick by Dominique Cosmetics in the shade Nude Kiss.
And this is pretty much the look sleigh bays. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments. I will definitely say I am high key obsessed with this look. I absolutely love how simplistic it is. Like you just toss on a shimmery shade all over the lid, a little bit of definition in the crease. You could round out your eye look or sharpen it like I did and pop on any color you want in the very inner corner and also in your waterline and you are good to go. I'd love to know your thoughts on this look down below in the comments. And if you guys have not pressed the like button, what are you waiting for? Give this video a big thumbs up for me because it always helps me out. And also don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so that we guys are notified anytime I upload, which is every Tuesday and Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, two times a week, every single week. And if you guys want to be my post notification shout out next week, all you have to do is click that bell to turn on your post notifications and leave me a comment down below with the hashtag Slaybays. I love you and I will talk to you guys all very, very soon. Deuces.